Hello and welcome to episode 36 of Franny Do Makes. My name is Fran. This is my channel where I talk about everything that I have been making and crafting over the last two weeks. Mainly it's knitting, but I do have some cross stitch today and some acquisitions. So if you're interested in anything like that, then please do cozy up with a drink of your choice and a project if you've got one and we'll chat about what I've been working on. So as I said, my name's Fran. I live in Leeds in the north of England in West Yorkshire in the UK. Today, it is Wednesday the 26th of July. I have already recorded this podcast once. I did it on Monday and then when I went to edit it, there was no sound on the recording. So hopefully this has got some. So I can't do it again. I've only got half an hour before I have to go and sort my dad out. So let's get cracking. Um, it has been a nice day today, but now it's gone overcast and windy, so who knows? It's the Great British Summer after all. I'm just drinking a glass of squash today. I've just got in from work, so I didn't have time to make a cup of tea before I'll have to get, do this and go out again, so. Let's get cracking, shall we? So as I said, I don't have any, I don't have, I didn't say this, but I don't have any finished objects. Um, I've got some works in progress, some new cast ons from last time, and I've got acquisitions and that's about it really so I'm going to try and crack through it fairly quickly I'm not going to know what I've said because I've said it already once but let's just roll with it so what shall I start with okay I'll start with this because this is gonna be frogged so this is my West Knits um, secret socks sock along project so I am currently in the progress of part way through clue two I've decided I don't like it it doesn't fit properly and I'm going to use the yarn for some other thing so this is where I got I did the top I did the rib I did the cable I did this stepping stone bit and I've started this brick part and I don't like this and I, I'm, ju I'm just not happy with how it's turning out so I'm gonna I'm gonna unravel it I might do um, a sock all in this pattern and just do the heel that they that he suggests and the toe and so it'll be sort of similar I might wait and see what the final clue looks like and see if I can incorporate some other design elements but I don't know but I'm thinking I might undo it and do it as a 64 stitch because I'm just not liking the fit of it really and I'd rather be happy with it and have something. I really love the way the colours are working together um, but I'm not loving it and so I wouldn't wear it is what I'm saying. I would make them and not wear them and they just sit there in the box so I'd rather knit something that I'm going to wear. Or that someone else might wear but um yeah so the yarn i'm using is cascade heritage in navy and this was a one of a kind um from tiny teal handcrafted um so that's all i have to say about that really i did swap to a 2.5 millimeter needle um but it still is it's not comfortable to get over my foot and i'm not enjoying it so yeah I'm gonna frog it I think so that's the end of that it's living in an Amelia X joy bag which I've got from Etsy and that has beaker on it for the Muppets there we go so knitting that's actually been worth doing or that I've been enjoying more I've been two other new cast ons um, that I have worked on so first of all I have cast on a second Tolster Tea, which is a pattern by Rebecca Clow of the Craya Baya podcast on YouTube. So I've made one version before, which was green, just plain with some eyelets around the neckband and the arm hole. So you can see that on a previous episode. And this one. Um, I am using some Drops Muscat which 
is this lovely blue it's colour number 15 um, and so I've chosen to do a version based on the test knit by Coco Knits so I think it was their test number 4 and number 5 they did this version where it's a band a section of eyelets and then a section of stockinette so that's what I'm doing so there's six of the eyelet section sorry I'm just looking over there so I can check it's all in frame um, and then some stockinette I've done a um, folded neckband on this one just from stockinette and yeah I'm really I tried it on when I got to um, when I split for the sleeves um, and I really like how it's turning out although I'm worried that I might run out of yarn because this section here with the eyelets does tend to <coughs> just a two I'm normally a three sneeze person just if you're interested in that <laughs> um, yeah so this is a bit of a yarn guzzler this part of it um, but I'll see I've still got I've got two balls left and I've already, so this is four already used so I might get well, it might be all right it's not gonna have much on the sleeves situation is it so and I can always just do them shorter and maybe I don't know whether to pick up the sleeves and do them and then just knit until I run out maybe I'll do that um, yeah so yeah I'm really liking that I'm knitting a size bigger this time the last one I made was a size 2 which was perfectly fine but I wanted a bit more um, ease in this one so a baggier fit so this is a size 3 I didn't do a gauge swatch I can't be bothered my last one worked out fine I'm using the recommended needles so yeah I'm really enjoying that it's a really it's a really lovely pattern that you can just put your own stamp on and make you know five different versions of the same thing I mean it's brilliant I'm also very much looking forward to um, the pattern release of her Leith cardigan. Wait, hang on, I've got some yarn. It's stash, it's not new. Oop. So yeah, um, the Leith cardigan is like a striped um, cardigan. Is it from the bottom up? yeah from the bottom up it's in testing at the moment she's put lots of pictures up of it her version um, the original version is like cream or white with different colours so this side is striped with I can't remember the exact ones but yellow and then pink and then blue and then purple and it's just such a joyous thing I've seen some other versions as well out of the testing pool that are amazing so one's got striped with boucle and then another one's like solid on one side and then patterned on the other so it just looks exciting so I have got these balls of Millimere Sweden naturally soft Aran which I got as a Christmas present from my sister-in-law and it's just hiding out in this box at the moment and I think um, I could get a single colour, so say a cream or a white, and these could be my stripes. Some co co combination is the word I'm looking for. Some combination of these. So when the pattern gets released, that's probably what I'll do. Because um, this is really lovely yarn and it needs to be used. And I really like the look of that cardigan. I think it's so attractive and fun and yes again another one that can be totally changed into so many different versions um right so that's my tolster my next new cast on is a pair of socks oh it's only one sock at the moment Where am I at? Oh, i've just done the heel turn on it so um this is the 
don't know if I'll be able to put it on a block to show you because of where it's at. Oh, I might be able to. So this is my um, entry into three different knit alongs because why not? Why not treble dip? I'm trying to think which way to go. So this uh, is primarily I started it because um, Ali from Little Drops of Wonderful is doing a strawberry shortcake knit along. Um, and I've had this pattern and yarn in my stash for ages um, and I'd had planned on knitting it this year it was down on my list in it this year and I've just been just not got around to doing it um, and so this was perfect because it is a strawberry related pattern so it's the strawberry cheesecake socks by Debbie Ford who is Daisy Stitches on Instagram and this was a collaboration with Laura at Adventures in Yarncraft. There's her label there. There you go. Um, so Laura did the yarn and Debbie did the pattern. So she did several different ones that were sort of inspired by desserts. So this was strawberry cheesecake. There was a lemon drizzle, I think, and maybe a key lime pie or something like that. So this was the, the kit so it came with the pattern and the yarn together. So um, as you can see, it's a top down, which is not my usual one, but this other lovely um, broken rib cuff, this lovely pattern that goes down the side, um, a heel flap and gusset. So they have just picked up the gusset stitches around there. And I'm gonna start the decreases. This yarn is absolutely delicious. It's so soft and squidgy um, and it's 85% merino and 15% nylon so it's got a lot more merino content. And the, sorry for the message. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm really enjoying it. It's a lovely pattern. It's easy to read the knitting so you know what you're doing. So the repeat is just from the one strawberry to the two strawberry like that. So you just follow those repeats. And then this lovely colour, the speckles. It's actually more green than it's showing up on the screen that I can see, but there you go. It's lovely. I'm really enjoying doing it. Um, so yeah. So the difference in enjoyment from that to the West Knits ones, which I love Stephen West patterns. Um, I'm just not enjoying that one. So, um, yeah, let me just get this back on my needles. So I feel like I'm racing through here. I don't think I am, but anyway. I don't know what I've said and what I haven't. It's very confusing. Technology, you see, technology is a pain in the bum. Right, so there we go. That is living in this bag from Handmade by Janie. There we go. Right, and my other work in progress. I have done a few squares on my blanket, but not, oh, oh, not loads, so I'll show that next time. But my other part of um, progress I've done is some on my cross stitch. So this pattern is by Satsuma Street. So that's Jodie Rice, Satsuma Street. And it's called Pretty Little Hawaii. That's the pattern there. So I'm working on this part here, these like hotels. And this is where I'm at at the moment. go not focusing overly well see there we go so yeah I'm enjoying it and um, it's slightly the, the sometimes there's not very many stitches in a color and I like to be quite economical with my um floss not that I need to be, I've got plenty of it, but you know, I don't like to be wasteful. 
sometimes you've only got like three stitches at one part and then I don't really like breaking it but anyway it's nicer than all that brown in the robin that I did before um, yeah but yes it's a nice pattern there's lots of colours and I have recently bought a necklight from Amazon so that helps for stitching of an evening um, although I can't really do that when anyone else is in the house and watching the telly because you can just see these two pinpricks of light which is nice so that's all the works in progress there we go so I will move on to acquisitions quickly because I've got some yarn and I've got some bags so I bought then another um, what's it called I don't know another I bought the July club from uh, Woolly Mama Yarns this one is DK weight it's the colour collage club it's a DK weight and it's so pretty so I bought it because this was the one I got last time it's slightly not as nice because I unraveled it and then I had to skin it back up myself so this was June's and this is July so I'd got them sort of to go together to maybe make something out of um, I'm worried that they might have too many of the similar colours in there anyway yeah I thought, so I thought about making the Aria shawl by Amber O'Brien that's a DK weight shawl I could make my own up really to be fair there must be some other or something like that anyway there we go that's what I've got and the second thing that I purchased this month was um, some bags from coffee and yarn cakes now I'd seen this bag on Instagram from Becky Knits Becky Monday she had bought one and I really liked it so I thought I'm gonna get me one of those so this is a as I said it's from coffee and yarn cakes can you see that coffee and yarn cakes and this is a bag with fabric based on my neighbor Totoro or Totoro how do you say it which is a Studio Ghibli um, animation which they're all on Netflix at the moment so if you've never seen any of them they are lovely, lovely movies, great for families, they're just gentle, they're just gentle films. I mean, Spirited Away is a bit darker, I would say, but Totoro, um, Kiki's Delivery Service, what's the other ones, Ponyo is really, really good for Littlies, um, Howl's Moving Castle as well, I mean, they're all good, So, but I love Totoro, so when when I was pregnant with Minnie um, I painted a mural in Minnie's room which is all based on Totoro so it has a big Totoro and then there's all the little soot sprites and leaves going all the way around all the room and then there's the little blue Totoro and the little white one and yeah so it has a special place in my heart does Totoro and Minnie used to watch him a lot when she was little and the next one is a Halloween bag so this was on sale and this has got some like Halloween owls on it and I don't have a Halloween bag but I did buy some yarn that looked a bit Halloweeny and so I thought I would get a Halloween bag so that I could make some Halloween socks because why not and I like that there's a little pumpkin on that one and a little Totoro on this one. See him? He's got a little face. I don't think I've bought anything else to show you. No. No, that's it. I feel like I've speeded through that. 
yeah it's only short this time I spoke a lot more I don't know what I said last time anyway what time is it got a little bit of extra time I don't know what else to talk about really I've done oh I didn't do what's on the wall that's the shawlography that's a Stephen West pattern was that not last year's the year before so 2022 mystery knit along I also got a frame to frame up my cross stitch you know my um Robin the Robin one. Oh, it was Minnie's birthday yesterday so like I said I um, recorded originally on the Monday and then because I had some time and I thought oh, I'll, I'll get it done while she was just watching the iPad or something um, and then it was she had a party on the Sunday and then yesterday she just had a present and the family and things like that so she got loads of stuff proper spoiled she's had a lovely day and she's gone to grandma's today with all her fat with all her new toys and stuff so yeah it was nice she's never had a birthday party with her friends before because her birthday is in the summer holidays so normally everybody goes on holiday um, so she just had a few people round, so about eight of them. We did a proper old school party, so we did Pass the Parcel, and we did musical statues and Pin the Tail on the Donkey. We had a piñata. They, they all seemed to enjoy themselves, so it was nice. It was fun. Nice to see her happy. She had a really nice time. And got lots of nice presents, so yeah, she's happy. Although we did get her a scooter. Um, so I've got a, a push scooter that I usually sometimes use to go to work in on I should say not in um, and that's from a shop in Denmark so we thought oh we'll get mini one because it's a good quality one they're really really nice we picked it all out she picked which one she wanted and it came and when it arrived like two weeks ago we took it all out of the box and we had a look and we thought yeah that's fine we put it away so that she couldn't see it and then when we got it out on Sunday night uh, Monday night to put it all together it's one of these where you can fold it all down so the handles like come off and hang down um, so I was trying to put the handle in the slot and like it, the circle has been crushed so it's like this so the it won't go in oh, that's a bit rude it won't go the stop doing that it won't go in the hole <laughs> um, uh, yeah so we've had to see if we can get a replacement for that otherwise she's only got one handlebar and that's a bit hard to use isn't it for a scooter so yeah that's that um so plans going forward i want to try and finish the tolster and then um oh i have got a friend's baby's christening coming up and i did think about making a little um amigurumi after watching um little drops of wonderful ali talking about her Amigurumi books, it made me think, oh, I haven't done one for ages. And there's a really cute, um, I mean, all the patterns are cute in this book, but it's Animal Friends of Pika Pow number two. I've made stuff out of the first one. In the second one, or which, which one is it that I'm going to make? Oh, there's a sloth. And he's got a little hat on and a little jumper. And he's so cute. So, I, But I had to get, for some reason, I didn't have the right um, hooks. I don't know why, because I've got loads of them. So I had to order some new hooks. So they've come, so I might start that. There you go. So I'm going to go now, because now I've just rambled about nothing there for ages. So yes, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. I apologise if it was kind of rambly or if I talked too fast or what have you. But yeah, please like and subscribe to the channel if you've not already and you would like to support the channel. There is also a link for my coffee account if you would like to contribute. Um, but you don't have to. And that's down in the... Uh, description box below oh I know what I didn't do I didn't say where you could find me so if you want to find me elsewhere on the internet you can find me as at Franny Do Makes on Instagram and Ravelry Franny Do page is my Facebook page and if you want to find any information on what I've talked about today so the patterns, the yarn, the links to any shops or anything I'll pop them in the show notes on the website which is www.frannydo.co.uk I almost forgot what it's called um, and you can find all the details over there. So yeah, thanks again for joining me. Please have a wonderful two weeks yourself. Um, I'll try and keep um, 
a, a regular schedule, but it might be a bit hit and miss with it being the summer holidays. Uh, but I'll try my best certainly to get uh, a two weekly updated. And if we go on any nice days out, I'll I'll do a vlog or something maybe. But yeah, thanks for joining me. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Happy crafting. Happy knitting. And I'll see you in two weeks' time. Bye. Mm -hmm.